Okay, listen, we're not gonna be the fashion police or anything, but let's face it. Some people just don't know how to dress themselves, even on a cruise. So we're going to give you a rundown of what not to wear, just so you don't embarrass yourself or more importantly, anybody you're traveling with. Don't worry, we'll make it fun and give you all the deets in this video. You ready? Let's do this. I'm Addie of Addie and Terry, travel advisor content creators with a passion for cruising and exploring new countries. So we're seeing a lots and lots of first time cruisers and I've been thinking it's time for us to brush up on some of our cruise ship etiquette. I mean, it's not like a regular land vacation and there are some super important fashion rules we gotta follow, you know? Don't worry, like I said, I'm not the fashion police, so you do you boo. But I just thought I'd share some tips and some answers to a few FAQs about what's acceptable to wear and what's a big no-no on a cruise ship. Let's get started. So let me spill the tea on the dining room attire. You might wanna reconsider those shorts for dinner. Of course, every cruise line has their own dress policy, so be sure to check with them. And if they allow shorts, then go ahead, rock the shorts. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Brace yourself for this one, because on those casual nights, some cruise lines still don't allow shorts in the main dining room. I know, that's a shocker, right? But don't worry, just check with the cruise line, like I said, and you'll be dining in style in no time. Make sure you guys bring along some decent pants or a nice pair of jeans for dinner. Trust me, you don't wanna be the only one underdressed in the dining room. A little effort goes a long way. On some of the more premium cruise lines, like Celebrity, and we've even written this, this on Royal Caribbean, they do not mess around with the dress code in the dining room. So if you show up in shorts, you might get the boot. Better make sure you check the dress code before you head to dinner. Just a heads up, but guys should steer clear of sleeveless shirts or tank tops and everyone should just avoid cut off jeans or flip flops in the dining areas. Even if you've been soaking up the sun all day by the pool, it's a good idea to throw on a cute t-shirt and some comfy shorts instead of rocking your swim room. This goes for the buffet too, but especially the main dining room and while you're exploring the rest of the ship. Remember, pool wear is meant for the pool. Number three is keep your pajamas in your sleepwear and even your robes in your cruise cabin. I know this one might spark some debates. So some people think it's totally fine to rock their pajamas at the buffet, especially for like breakfast. But I have to say, I completely disagree. I mean, seeing people in their pajamas or robes just don't do it for me. No matter how tired or hungover they might be. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments. Number four, no hats in the main dining room or specialty restaurants during dinner. This is another thing that's considered a big no-no on cruise ships. Most cruise lines have a dress code that doesn't allow for certain items like hats, for example, to be worn during dinner service. So if you're wearing a baseball cap, there's a good chance that you might be asked to take it off. I know it can be a bummer, but it can also bother some of the other passengers on the ship. They're all dressed up all nice and you walk in with a baseball hat on. How's that look? Now I have heard that there might be some exceptions for medical reasons or for religious head coverings like hijabs or yarmulkes. And I've also heard that cowboy hats are sometimes okay too. Number five, while there's no hard and fast rule about what to wear on a cruise, a lot of folks will agree with me on this one. Stay clear of those teeny weeny speedos for dudes and thong bikinis for the ladies. And most importantly, no see-through swimsuits allowed. Just give your swimsuit a little bit of a check before you step out on deck because nobody wants to see what you had for breakfast. Remember, not all cruises are just for grown-ups and some of the beaches that you'll visit might have more conservative dress codes. So let's just show some respect to the families and the communities that you'll be visiting. Leave your camouflage clothing at home. You could pretty much wear whatever you want on the cruise ship itself. Just remember that some ports in the Caribbean and in Mexico are a little more strict when it comes to camouflage clothing. Now, I haven't heard of anyone actually getting arrested or anything for wearing camo, but I have heard and have seen people being told to go back to the ship and change. Our boy Terry has even gotten some weird looks from the locals when we were traveling when he was wearing camo shorts on a Caribbean island and in Mexico. Just keep in mind that some countries might find camo offensive, so be respectful of other cultures when traveling. Number seven, 
Don't wear uncomfortable shoes on a cruise. While this is not necessarily a rule, it's just a smart tip to keep in mind. Let me tell you a little secret about cruising. You're gonna be doing a lot of walking on the ship and in the port. One of our trips to the Mediterranean, we put in 30 to 40,000 steps a day. And let's talk about formal night. You're going to want to look good and feel good, but if your shoes are uncomfortable, it's just going to ruin your whole night. So trust me, you don't want to be hobbling around, unable to walk or unable to dance. No one wants to be uncomfortable on a night. It's supposed to be all about having a good time and looking good. So leave the painful shoes at home and only pack the ones that are comfortable. Your feet will thank you. I know a lot of people ask this question because we actually get asked quite often. Let me tell you. Yes, you can wear jeans on a cruise. Most cruise lines allow jeans, even in the main dining room. The only time you might have to switch it up is for formal night. But on casual nights, jeans are totally okay. Just make sure they look sharp, not super distressed and crazy. And dark jeans are always a good choice and have you cruising in style. Another thing some people might be wondering is if they have to dress up for formal night or even go to any of the formal night festivities at all. And let me tell you, you totally have the option to skip it. There are alternative restaurants on a ship and a buffet if you don't want to go to the formal dining room. And if you don't want to deal with formal nights like at all, you can book a cruise on Norwegian Cruise Line or a cruise line like Virgin Voyages because they have a more relaxed dress code. But if you're really into it and you want a more traditional cruise experience with formal nights, dress codes, and the whole night, then Princess or Cunard might be more your speed. So be sure to comment below on what you think people should not be wearing on a cruise. I feel like the pajamas and the bathrobes are going to get some marks. Check out this video if you're going on your first carnival cruise and have no idea what to do next. And Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss any other videos from us. We'll see you around the ship, but for now, bye bye